Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador. I'd like to talk to you about how we can modify a memory that we've saved to the shoot mode dial. Those are the one, two, and three positions. Now, my own workflow, I am pretty much using the one, two, and three settings most of the time. And I explain this uh, workflow in my Memory Mastermind video tutorial. So let's take a look at how we can first register a memory to that shoot mode dial you pretty much want to look at your exposure settings. Now you will need to turn the shoot mode dial to aperture priority or shutter priority or program, whichever is your preferred exposure method there. Then you'll look at aperture, ISO, maybe shutter speed. If you're using aperture priority, you might want to look at ISO auto minimum shutter speed. You want to look at your focus settings, maybe your steady shot and your drive mode settings as well. Once you think you've got everything uh, that uh, you've set up the camera that you want to record, call quickly in the future, you'll then proceed to either page three or four, depending on your camera menus, and then uh, register that uh, memory. Now you will need to uh, pick a location that you're going to recall that from. So you will go up to the uh, top uh, bar there and choose either 1, 2 or 3. You'll also see that there's an M1, M2, M3 and M4 settings. Those are uh, memory settings that are saved to the memory card. Now that might be useful until you learn that when you format that memory card, those memories are deleted. So they are of limited use. So the one, two, and three are actually saved on the camera. So these are going to be your uh, pals. They're going to be your best friends for recalling groups of settings very quickly. Once you're uh, ready, then you're going to look at the uh, the bottom bar there. It's basically inviting you to register that memory by pressing the center button uh, on the uh, the control wheel there. And once you've done that, you've registered your memory. Now, it's not just those 10 settings that I was looking at before. It actually saves uh, up to uh, 100 uh, menu items uh, from that memory. Now, uh, one of the things that I would like to see on the first screen without having to scroll down to the other uh, 80 menu items is that ISO auto minimum shutter speed, which is uh, uh, really an important setting for my own workflows. But it's, it's down there, deep in uh, if you bother to scroll down. Now, whenever you want to recall that memory, all you need to do is turn the shoot mode dial to one and all of your uh, um, registered memories are recalled automatically. Now, this isn't a straight jacket for your shooting style because you can modify any individual setting from that starting point. If you turn the shoot mode dial away from one and then back to one, your registered default settings are restored. So it's always a good starting point. You don't have to limit yourself to the, those uh, settings that you've recorded or registered to that memory. Now there are a couple of things that you probably need to be aware of if you are recalling um, a, a memory via the shoot mode dial, um, such as the drive mode and focus mode on the Alpha 9, Alpha 9 2 and Alpha 1. That is really um, uh, uh, not recorded by the memory because we have a hard physical dial on the top left of the camera. So you will need just to cast your eye over there after recalling the memory. There are a few uh, items that are not stored in those hundred menu items and one of those ones is the finder frame rate which you may want to use a faster frame rate when you're shooting action sports compared to when you're shooting landscape or portraits. Now if you have a steady shot setting on the lens that will override any steady shot setting you have uh, um, registered to a memory. And also, um, if you have um, a G or GM lens with an aperture ring on the barrel, uh, you will need to turn that to A in order to have the memory um, bring forward the uh, stored aperture setting. Uh, because if you have that uh, turned to a particular aperture, then um, the memory won't override that. Okay, so those are just a few things to be aware of when you are recalling a memory via the shoot mode dial. Now let's get on to modifying um, um, a setting. You may have uh, registered a setting and then you change your mind about maybe the shutter speed that you want to um, uh, register. So first off, you're not going to turn it to aperture priority or shutter priority this time. You're going to recall your uh, registered memory. So here I'm recalling the, uh, the two setting. 
Then you will modify your setting, whether it's ISO or, or your shutter speed, and then you'll go into the menus, go back to page three or four, depending on your camera, and then choose the location, which will be two again, and you'll basically be overwriting that registered memory. Once you've pressed the center button in the control wheel, you'll have modified that registered memory. So let's take a look at uh, me um, modifying a memory live. So we'll um, go in and we'll start um, by changing the uh, ISO auto minimum shutter speed. Now this is a setting that I assign to my C1 custom key. So all I've done here is I've pressed the C1 key and I'm going to slow the shutter speed down for my portrait setting from 1 500th of a second to 1 250th. Now I need to dive into the menu and go to uh, page 4 on this Alpha 1. That might be page 3 on an older style camera. I'll then proceed to the camera set memory. That will just be MR memory on older uh, model cameras. We then need to choose a location which will be 1 on the top row and press the center button and that is now registered. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, me modifying perhaps an action setting. So this time I will turn the shoot mode dial to number two, where I typically store my action settings. Now let's uh, take a look at this. We'll uh, do this uh, live again. Um, so uh, first of all, I'll recall number two on the shoot mode dial. I'll then go into the uh, the the media settings this time. I'm going to change um, from shooting just a raw file to uh, slot one to shooting a raw file on slot one and then a JPEG to slot two. So I'll come down to my record media settings and in there I'll change the um, slot one to sort recording and then I'll come down to the image quality settings and then I'll jump over to slot 2, choose JPEG as the file format, choose extra fine as the JPEG quality and 50 megapixels as the JPEG size. Once I've done that I'll need to navigate back to page 4, uh, the shooting mode, come down to my camera set memory and then um, choose a location which will be number 2 and then press the center button to register that. So it's quite a quick process to change your mind and change an individual setting. The important thing is when we're changing uh, a setting is we do dial that in on the shoot mode dial. Let's take a look at three additional memories that we can use on our cameras. These are different to the memories that we recall from the shoot mode dial. These three memories I'm going to introduce you to are recalled by holding down a custom key that we have assigned to one of these three memories. They're the registered custom shoot settings. Now when we uh, go into this you'll see that they're actually called recall custom hold. Slightly confusing I admit but once we go into these we have now 10 or 11 settings that we can modify by holding down a custom key. This is especially useful for Alpha 9, Alpha 9 2 and Alpha 1 users who can't uh, program uh, um, the drive mode and focus mode to that memory because these recall custom hold can override what is on that uh, um, drive mode and focus mode uh, uh, dials on the top of the camera. So these are especially useful uh, when you just need to quickly override for one or two shots and then release the uh, custom key and go back to what you've been using on the uh, shoot mode dial. So let's take a, a closer look at these 10 or 11 settings. Now you can see from the checkboxes that I'm not actually using all of all 10 or 11 settings in this particular recall custom hold. Just uncheck anything that you don't want to override and then just um, choose what um, exposure modes or shoot mode settings that you want to override. Here I'm going to change um, a shutter speed setting. So uh, at the moment I've got um, it programmed for 1 320th of a second and I'm just going to modify that to 1 500th of a second. Once I've done that I will come down to the register and then I need to press register in order to change that setting. 
Once I've done that, I need to uh, basically go into the menus to access um, uh, the custom keys. So let's go over to that uh, setup. We're going to come down to Operation Customize on this Alpha 1 setting. We're going to come to our custom key settings for stills. And then I'm going to choose the, um, uh, the custom key that I want to assign. So I've assigned it to the focus hold button uh, on the lens. This, this, is a, this is a button that appears on most uh, Sony uh, telephoto zoom lenses. And so this is a great place to access uh, and override 10 or 11 settings that we want to just hold down uh, and recall quite quickly. So um, if you have a look at um, the diagram over on the right side of this slide, you'll see there's three obvious places to hold down a button as we're shooting. And that is the AEL key, the AF on um, custom key, and also the focus hold button. Assigning any other um, button is going to be a little bit tricky to hold down. So these are the three obvious choices for these three uh, memories. Now, as I said, they're very different from the shoot mode memory is that we access from the shoot mode dial. So um, these are just 10 or 11 settings that we want to override for maybe one or two shots. Okay, so that um, uh, concludes this. I'll just register that setting. And then um, once we've done that, I will just uh, come over to a final couple of slides. Is if you're needing ongoing support about how you can set up your camera, I actually su uh, supply cam set files for the Alpha 9.2. A7R4 Alpha 1 settings so I can help set up your camera just via file on your memory card. I also offer um, 400 and 500 page ebooks for late model Alpha cameras. Pretty much everything released after the uh, Alpha 7.3 and Alpha 7R3. I've got an ebook that covers that. So just go for the premium service if you want to ask, access those ebook uh, or cam set files. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, found that useful and just um, uh, uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe and I'll catch you online next time.